Hello, this is Dale, your online accountant. Today I want to make a quick video for those who plan on taking the QuickBooks Online exam to become certified and then also be added to their directory. They're not going to let you be on their directory until you at least pass the first or get the first certification that's offered. And then there's a, a, a diamond one which you can take the advance, but I don't, I don't really see the need of that. At least of, as of now. Congratulations, you did it. There's five sections that you have to take. And when you take your very last one, this will pop up once you pass it. It will say, congratulations, you did it. You won't be able to go back in and examine like some of the, your sections. You can kind of go back in, but you won't be able to do that once you take the last section. And you don't have to take it in any specific order. Uh, what I would suggest, and as you can see, it's 15 questions. And let me just say that it's 15 questions and you got to make a, a minimum of 80 per section to pass and you get four tries to do it. So tip number one, what I would do is as you going through, I will like for one, I would write a or whatever B is like usually five choices, four or five choices. I can't remember, but either way. Two of those questions are going to sound like they're correct or they're going to be close to correct. And the other three, you can kind of almost eliminate or the, or the other two, you can almost eliminate. And then if you have to come back and take it the second time around, the good thing about it is they only give you the questions that you miss. So they really want you to pass this. So the questions you miss, and so if I miss question number two and I had B the first time and D sounded like the correct one, then I can mark D for certain or I can go back through that section before I take it the second time around. And also what I would do is have running in the background QuickBooks because you're going to need it uh, just to kind of reference some things. Um, if you got two screens, I would definitely have it run it on one screen as I'm taking a test on the other. So I made a 80 on section three beyond the basics. Section two and section three probably were the toughest. It was the most involved. You know, it's one thing to do it practically. You just know what to do when you're creating an invoice. But it's another thing sometimes just sitting back, not being in the system and answering a question about you know, a certain way to create an invoice because QuickBooks might have a certain way that they do something, but you might have found a shortcut or, you know, a better way, but they might ask you something specifically. So as you can see, here's uh, on this one, I took it, I, I missed three and I took it the second time around to get my score of 80. So basically I kind of knew exactly how many I needed to uh, get correct to pass it the second time around. So pause or whatever you need to do to get jock that question down. <laughs> but here's what I would do. I would, if I was, you know, next time I take it or, or if I decide to do the van section, uh, the best way to do it is do go through the module because all your, your question is going to be in the modules, the training modules. If you just do the training modules, I would do getting started setting up and then I will stop and doing go do section one and you have a better chance because it's fresh on your mind and, and you already seen the questions because they're going to have some practice questions in there. Those practice questions going to be part of the exam. So you, you might as well kind of remember those as you do it. And some of the things that they cover in the, the training, they have several videos, maybe a minute to five, up to five minutes or so. Um, I would do that after each section. And like I say, you don't have to take any particular session. Uh, you don't have to go in order. So another one is accounting tools. And you know, being that you the accountant, um, you should know it a little bit more. So they're going to ask you all kind of just about the counting reports alone is different just from the, regular basic person who using QuickBooks. So you should know the counting side and definitely all those questions are going to be asked 
Let's see what else we got. Um, I can tell you here, you being a rep for QuickBooks, they want you to know the difference between Simple Start, Essentials, and the Plus. The reason being because you're going to have to be the one to like offer your clients uh, which one is best for them. And they want you to be able to know that. So here's three questions that you can get right right off the bat. Track inventory. That's going to be a question. No matter whatever they're going to throw, they're going to throw some mumble jumbo. It's going to sound right. But at the end of the day, the only way you can track inventory is if you have the plus QuickBooks. QuickBooks. QuickBooks Plus. Second, I want to track billable hours by customer. The only way you can do that is have a QuickBook Plus and track sales and profitability of each location. Once again, QuickBook Plus. So I would know the only thing that you can do with the QuickBook Plus. Those three questions, well, those three that I gave you are definitely questions. So just knowing that, uh, you're going to get those three correct. Let's see what else we got here. All right. Uh, knowing the setup here, and I want to write on here just so you can see what I'm talking about. Knowing what's in here, knowing what's in your create, they call this the gear icon right here. This is the gear icon and that's the create. Knowing what's under there, uh, you're gonna get questions on. Here's the accounting section. Knowing what's in there. Um, definitely your banking, dashboards, uh, sales. Employees, there's a question in there about uh, Cutting on payroll. If you know that's in the employee session, you'll get that question correct. Okay, so here we are in the gear icon. Knowing that under under the gear icon here, with a little hand at right there, you can get company settings, your custom forms, chart of accounts, uh, etc. List. Knowing under tools where you can import data, uh, set up your budgeting, et cetera, and then under your company. So knowing that layout there. And now we under your create and under your create clients, vendors, employees, other. So you need to, like I said, you need to know and, and you need to know what's under each one. Create and the gear icon. And this is why it's a good idea to have that running in the background let's see if there's anything else that we need to look at uh, here's a, another little section and this is when you're looking at the the screen as an accountant and you have your different clients uh, they're going to ask you I can't remember the question that they're going to pull out of here, but this for sure, this is one way uh, they will ask you, how can you look at the clients that you have? And, you know, you can definitely click on, I know what it is. You can definitely click on each one of those clients. And here they're going to also want to know what does it shows. So like for here, the last, the status of everything. Um, also show you the payroll, the last time the banking. So just kind of knowing that that's why some of this you're not going to remember unless you do it right after you did the training. So that's why I say have it up on your, on a different screen or running in the background. So to recap the first, what I recommend is first go through the training after each section, pause, and then go take the exam. That way you already know. Second, I wanted you to have that written down with the answers beside each one. So if you had to go back a second or a third time, at least you can eliminate what you had already 
wrote for that particular answer. So if you have any other questions, drop it in the comment section and or hit the thumbs up if this was helpful for you. Thank you.